Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a product updates videos. I did one just a few weeks ago, like not that far back, but I've just recently tried so, so, so much makeup. I need to get this out of this basket. For product updates, I try to pile the products I'm ready to update on in here, and I just wanna get these in their home. So it's a lot of products too anyways. So the majority of these products are from my Milk Makeup First Impressions try on video, and then also my huge drugstore makeup haul and I found some super amazing stuff. Now not everything from those two videos is featured in this just because either I have mentioned it since that video and I don't need to really update you because I updated in other videos or there's just some other products that I'm working on but I really had to get this stuff out of the way. So I will update you on the products that I have not yet mentioned eventually but for now let's get into it. So I'm going to do this by category. So the first product I have to update you on is the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. So I've used this a ton since I hauled this and I really, really love this. I like the way it smells. I like the way it sprays. It doesn't make me extremely dewy, but it does add a nice glow to my face. So this has been really lovely. It's quite affordable and it's really small, great for travel. So I have been loving this and I 100% recommend this to you guys. Really, really good. So another facial spray is the Pixie Glow Mist. Now I'm kind of tied up about this one because it really actually does make your skin quite dewy and glowy, even more so than the Catrice. Just like today, I kind of mattified my face with powder and then I sprayed this on top and the glow was immediately back, which the product works lovely. However, I cannot stand the smell of this. I don't know what it smells like, but I think it smells like fish and it's extremely unpleasant. Even today, I used it and the smell's kind of lingering and I'm just like, Gah. So I just wish this had a different scent to it and it didn't smell like so terrible because the product itself is really, really good. So if you know what I'm talking about and you've experienced this, let me know that I'm not crazy. Do they have any other sprays that don't smell like this? Please let me know because this is actually really, really good. So, mm. all right, so next we're going to move to face bases. I only have one, and that is the MAC Strobe Cream. This is in the shade Pink Light. I love this. Now, I would never wear this on its own, obviously, because my face is extremely shiny, but this is really, really good when you want a really glowy face, especially if you put this under a glowy foundation, or I feel very comfortable putting this onto a soft matte foundation to show through a little bit. This is kind of an old product. Nobody really uses this anymore, but it is so, so good. So I definitely would recommend if you're looking for a super glowy base, go for this. It's a little bit moisturizing. I would recommend putting a moisturizer underneath, but this is such a fun, pretty glowy base. So I've been loving this really nice mac. Now we're gonna go into the foundation category. So the first one I have to talk about is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid. Now in the testing video, I used a shade that was a terrible undertone to me. It was so yellow on me, so I did end up exchanging it for the shade Light. Now this is a much better undertone for me, however it is a bit light on my skin tone, but I would rather have the undertone be better than the shade itself. So this is a lot better of a color on me. I don't love this foundation. It's a little bit thick for my preference. I just don't think it looks super natural in my opinion. I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's a good foundation and it does look nice on my skin, but it's a little bit thicker than I usually prefer for a foundation. I can definitely feel that thickness on my face. So this hasn't been my favorite foundation. It's nice and I like it enough to keep it. Once this is done, like it's out of my collection and I probably won't be purchasing this again. I heard Milk does have a really good like blur skin tint thingy that I want to try. I think I'll like that better than this. So this was just a little bit too thick for my preference. We also have the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I really, really like this. I feel like I don't have another foundation that like this in my collection. It's very unique of a finish. It just looks so skin-like and wet on my skin. Wet isn't the best way to put it, but it just... It's so lightweight on the skin and it really does look fresh. I just don't have a foundation that lays like this on the skin in the way that it does. I can't really describe it. If you have tried this foundation, hopefully you know what I'm talking about, but it really does. It looks fresh and like wet and dewy on your skin, but in the best way possible. It looks so lightweight and honestly, 
this has a finish I've never seen in a foundation on my skin and I really do enjoy it it's a really 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 good drugstore foundation so I have been enjoying this quite a lot lately another foundation that I've been enjoying a ton also is the wet n wild mega cushion foundation oh, it took me forever to get this I've been eyeing it for forever and it is so nice I see what the hype is about it looks so natural on the skin that's actually what I'm wearing today the coverage is like medium to buildable I wouldn't say it gets to full but you can really build it and it just looks so natural and glowy on the skin and as the day goes on it continues to look natural and doesn't cake up your skin is more inclined to get a little oily with this but it doesn't cake up which is my favorite part I can deal with a little shine just pat pat with some powder so this is really really good it's from wet n wild the other wet n wild foundation it's their liquid one I hated that this is 30 times better this is a really good cushion foundation and it's like five bucks dude come on last foundation that i have it's a tinted moisturizer this is the neutrogena protect and tint in light to tan this is so bad so it's a tinted moisturizer so i acknowledge that it's going to have very little coverage but i mean this is like zero coverage but i see the tint but it's not doing anything it's just the tint is just laying there on my skin first of all this oxidizes like crazy when i put it on i just look looks so orange and not only does it oxidize like crazy but it looks extremely patchy on the skin for something with such that's supposed to be such a tint it really like I can see splotches and patches on my face so I think I'm going to revisit this in the summer when it's more my shade and I actually go out in the summer I can't imagine this being any better it's just so splotchy on my face it's so weird if you are looking for a good tinted moisturizer go with Laura Mercier that is a classic I need to purchase just that again to be honest all right so next let's move into concealer i only have one to talk about today and that is the milk makeup flex concealer i do like this concealer i don't think it's anything super special out there on the market but it is good enough that i will use it and i like it a lot i really like it for natural days because it has a very soft matte finish under the eyes it's very very natural i mean this is a really good solid concealer i like it better than the blur liquid foundation and yeah, I haven't been disappointed with this. It's an above average concealer. One powder to talk about, and that is the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. I think what sets this powder apart for me is the packaging. It's just like so clever because you open it up and then you have this little netting and then if you want powder you can just kind of shake it and open it up and just stick your sponge or brush in and it's just so easy so mess free so the packaging for me is what sets this apart from other powders the powder itself is really nice I don't think it's anything super special but it gets the job done it mattifies the skin I mean it does the job of a powder nothing extremely special about it but I do enjoy it because of the packaging so yes this is a pretty good powder three bronzer to update you on so we have the wet n wild ticket to brazil bronzer now in the haul i said i didn't like it that opinion still continues it adds a weird gold sheen to my skin that's very unflattering and it doesn't really warm my skin up if i'm being honest so ticket to brazil I don't want to talk about it too much because I really don't like it. It's not good. Don't buy it. Also, something that I was unsure of because I even tried this on in a video was the Wet n Wild Makeup Stick Contour. And I have since grown to like this quite a lot. In the video that I tried it on, I wasn't too sure about it. But this is actually really, really good. I found what worked for me, the best way to apply it is to directly apply it to a brush and then use the brush to apply it to your skin that way it's going to be a lot easier to blend out and I mean this is a pretty dark shade so it won't be so harsh now I don't think this is the best cream contour in the world but for a few bucks this is really really good I've been enjoying it a lot this is the type of product I would bring on vacation with me because it's just so affordable you know like if anything were to happen to it I really wouldn't care and it's good and I would repurchase it after I lost it so I do quite enjoy this if you're looking for a cream contour from the drugstore I definitely would recommend that it's very good the Milani silky matte bronzer in sunkiss the formula of this so nice so smooth and blendable this shade in particular if i put too much on it can look a little bit muddy on my skin so i do have to be careful of that but they do have a lighter shade which honestly 
for my heavy hand probably would have been a better choice but this still is really beautiful I just gotta be a little bit careful so for more light medium to medium skin tones I feel like this is going to be a really great color on you but if you're looking for a good bronzer from the drugstore I have been enjoying this it's just a very very good formula this doesn't really have shimmer to it or anything so yes this is a very nice bronzer. Will I ever go a video talking without blush? I don't know. So this first one is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Keep It Peachy. I used it today. It doesn't match with my eyes or makeup, so just ignore that. I just wanted to solidify my thoughts on it. And uh, we had un accidente. And I very horribly repressed it because I'm lazy and I didn't look up any videos on how to do it. I just did it my own way and did it fast. I don't think this blush is the same texture or pigmentation or anything, but it still works and it still deposited some nice color on my cheeks. Now, personally, shades like these, the orangey shades, I haven't been so into lately, so I don't love the color anymore, but I really love these Wet n Wild blushes. I think they are so good for the price. You know, if you're balling on a budget, man. The Wet n Wild blushes are A1, super cheap, super good. We also have the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. These are awesome. I'm not very familiar with liquid blushes, so I thought this would be a good way to ease into them, and I really do enjoy them. I actually really like the more deep or brighter colors, like I have Melon and Cinnamon, because I find this one Pinched is a little bit too light for me. You guys know I love a real flush, so maybe Pinched is too light for me, but for somebody very fair or who doesn't like too much blush, you might like this shade, but I'm all about the bright colors. So I'm definitely interested in picking up more of the crazy bright colors. Every now and then I will find that they do move my foundation a little bit, but if I'm mindful, I don't have an issue with that. I also have the Milani blush in Berry Amore. I have been loving this. So Luminoso is like their most popular blush, but I think I like this a little bit more than Luminoso because I do love something a little bit more pink. So this is actually more of a neutral pink, but it's really, really pretty. The shimmer on it isn't too harsh, but there is definitely a shimmer to it. So if you don't like a shimmery blush, you won't like this one, but I still think it is phenomenal. I'm so happy that I picked this one up because I've been wanting to buy a couple more of these because I do enjoy the Milani blush formula. And the last blush that we have is the Milk Makeup one in, I think it's Work. I don't have the name on it anymore, but I just have the little mini one and I really, really like this. I've been very into Korean products, especially for my job. I wear very, very light makeup. So I just rub this on my fingers and I just kind of blend it out and it gives the most natural, pretty flush. And it actually looks quite nice on the lips as well. So I do really like this cream blush. I think they have a nice formula going for them. And this color is really, really pretty. Normally I do prefer a powder blush. I just think they're easier. But if you're looking for a nice portable cream blush, look for this. This is good. And then highlight I have the Wet n Wild I'm So Lit. I think I've already used this, but I added this in to update you guys that the staying power of this is really nice. It's a bit too blinding for my personal preferences. I'm not all about the same reminding crazy white highlight. I want this in a little bit of a deeper shade so it blends in more with my natural skin tone, but if I use the most tiny amount and blend it out, it is very gorgeous on my skin and it isn't too crazy and it does last a long time. So this is a really, really good Good loose highlighter formula. It genuinely is. They have a few different colors. So I did want to update you guys to tell you this formula is really good and it stays for a long time and you'll never ever run out. You could mix this in with your lotions and your moisturizers to give you a nice glow to your face. So yes, I've really been enjoying that. The last highlighter that I have to talk about is the Milk Makeup Highlighter in I'm So Lit. I'm just not into cream highlighters and that's my first fault here, but this one just doesn't do it for me. I have it on today and I mean, it's really pretty and quite natural. So I have been using this on my natural makeup days and again, I use my fingers to apply it. I think that's the best way to apply it because if I put this straight on my skin, it definitely does move my foundation and break it up which is a no-no for me and a no-no for cream highlighters. So definitely use your fingers to pat this in. So it's nice. It creates a really natural glow that powder just can't get you, but it's just not my favorite. So I'm like, eh, about this. That's why I got the little one. So I do like it enough to keep it, but it's like, it's eh. 
Okay, I have a couple items for eyebrows. The first is the ColourPop Brow Boss in the shade Brunette. I do like this for a drugstore pencil. It's not my favorite. I would prefer something a little bit more hard. I think this blends a little bit too easily, which can cause the brow to not look as defined. But I do think for a drugstore eyebrow pencil, this is the best that I've tried so far. I do like the NYX though too. Actually, I might like the NYX a little better. But this is still really, really good. I don't want to discredit it at all because I've tried some bad, bad eyebrow pencils. And this one is definitely good. This is something I will probably keep in my collection at all times just to refer back to because it is a decent eyebrow pencil. But not my favorite in the world, but still pretty nice. And then we have the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Dutch. I really like this. I wish they had a lighter shade they do have a lighter shade, but I want an in-between shade just because sometimes this can make my eyebrows look a little bit dark and I have to be very careful because I tend to, for some reason, start off at the front of my brow, which can be a disaster. So you really have to clean the little spoolie off and then start from the back and then move forward. But I have just a really bad habit where I'm just like, uh. Like I said, I do light makeup a lot of days for my job and this is really good for just for me to throw on. So I've actually really been enjoying this more than I thought I would because I don't really know about tinted brow gels most of the time, but this is actually quite nice. Um, it can get a little bit messy, which I don't love, but I just kind of wipe it off and be careful with application. Okay, eyeshadows. So the only eyeshadow palette I have to show you is the BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii palette, and I have been loving this. Now, I just think the colors are so pretty and the tones are exactly what I'm into. Today I have a little bit of Ohana and Aloha in the crease and I just think BH knocks it out of the park for their price. You know, these aren't the best shadows in the entire world, but for their price, they're pretty good. So if you are balling on a budget, I think BH Cosmetics is the best eyeshadow brand to try out from the affordable range. I honestly do. Like, these aren't the most long-wearing. They don't stay as vibrant as maybe they could. And they can blend together a little too much if you're not careful. But for the most part, these are really, really good shadows. Especially if you're not doing anything fancy with your makeup looks. Just to throw on, these are nice. And I think BH kills it with their, like, super shimmery champagne shades. So, yeah, I have been loving this. This is a really good affordable palette and I should probably use this for like a spring tutorial or a summer tutorial or something because it is quite nice. Also, we have the J-Cat Beauty Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousses. Now, I got when I got these, I was a little disappointed with them because I felt like they were really hard on the eye and they created a lot of drag when I was applying them. And I mean, obviously, they still do. That hasn't changed. But the finish on these is really pretty and it stays really nice and vibrant throughout the day. So application and texture of these aren't my favorite. But the way they look, which is the most important part, I mean, they're really, really beautiful. I think they're a bit overhyped, if I'm being honest, but they are really, really pretty on the eyelids. So I will be keeping these in my collection. I do think they're nice, but I just recall some people being die hard for them, and though they are nice, I just... I don't know. And then we have the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in the shade After Party. I'm actually wearing that on my lid right now. And I have to be honest, I'm a bit underwhelmed by this. You get so much product in here, which is awesome. And I was looking forward to buying other shades of this if I loved it. And I just don't love it. It's really pretty on the eye and it's worth keeping, but not enough worth purchasing other colors because... I don't know, I really like foiled glitter lids. And I just feel like if I'm going to use a liquid product, I'd prefer it to be really foiled and glittery and shiny. And this just isn't, it's a little bit blah. Like it is a little bit metallic and reflective. I just have a lot of products that I like better. I just think if I'm going to go out of my way to apply a lid topper, I really want it to stand out because this is a finish, honestly, I can get with quite a few powder eyeshadows. So for me, this is just all right. I did want to update you on the NYX Professional Epic Ink Liner. This was in my my favorites and I said this was amazing and while it is still good this is not waterproof at all so I did want to <laughs> update you on that there was one day where it was really windy and I was outside and so my eyes were kind of watering and where the eyes watered it just like came right off and I looked a hot hot mess so while this eyeliner is good if you have watery eyes stay away from this so I still like this it's still really black I don't know that was just I was a little disappointed that that had happened. So time finally for the last product in this video. This is the Maybelline Lipstick and Spice for me. So this was from a collection where 
every single color in that line was supposed to look good on every skin tone. I can't really obviously speak from experience on that, but this color is gorgeous. I wore it in my shopper drop video if you are interested in seeing that. I really like this color because I feel like it is so, it's kind of a unique color. It's so spicy. I feel like it has almost a little bit of a mustard undertone to it. And this is just such a beautiful color for fall. Obviously we're a little past fall, but I really, really love this like burnt orangey red shade and it really is an orange but it's just a spice color it's really really beautiful and if you like a bolder lip and you want something a little bit different from the typical red i would definitely recommend spice for me from maybelline and the formula of this is really smooth and shiny and moisturizing on the lips i like maybelline lipsticks a lot i think they have a decent uh, formula for the drugstore as far as lipsticks go and this one's really nice and i really like the color of it so that is finally the end of my product review you a video filling in the description box it's gonna be a pain in the butt so please take a look at the description box and pay ode to all of the time I spent filling that out so anyways I hope you guys found this video helpful so I hope that if you were curious about these products I did answer your questions so for the most part this is quite a successful update video all of the drugstore stuff I'm so amazed by to be quite honest if you made it this far thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video if you aren't subscribed already hopefully you will consider doing it before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a great day